The term eyelidosis is used to describe a lower than normal position of the upper eyelid which results in a noticeable difference between both eyes or if both eyes are affected make you look like you're tired or sleepy. An eyelid that is low can also be referred to as a lazy eye. Most commonly this appearance is due to a muscle that lifts the eyelid called the levator muscle, which is spelled like the word elevator without the letter E. This condition can be something you're born with, which is referred to as congenital ptosis, as well as occurring after you're born, referred to as acquired ptosis. Causes for acquired ptosis range from contact lens wear, excessive eye rubbing, trauma, as well as neurologic causes, but most commonly acquired ptosis is age-related stretching of the tendon called the levator aponeurosis. As a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon, I often see people who have had cosmetic eyelid surgery for hooded eyes performed elsewhere who still feel like they look tired. This is oftentimes because they still have ptosis. This is not unusual because ptosis surgery training is not part of a residency in general plastic surgery, as opposed to the specialized post-ophthalmology residency fellowship training in oculoplastic surgery. There are several techniques for eyelid ptosis correction, depending on the extent of the ptosis, and the strength of the levator muscle. For a lot of my patients who come in for cosmetic consultation who have a mild degree of ptosis, I perform ptosis surgery from the underside of the eyelid to advance the levator muscle, which results in more open and brighter looking eyes. For moderate degrees of ptosis, as well as for people who have had ptosis surgery, elsewhere and have come to me for revision surgery, I perform different types of levator muscle surgery from the front of the eyelid. I routinely perform ptosis correction surgery under local anesthesia with light IV sedation. This type of surgery requires precision to achieve optimal contour and symmetry, so patients are asked to open their eyes in both a laying and seated position so I can make appropriate adjustments to get the most predictable results. In the most severe cases where there is little to no levator muscle function and the, the upper eyelid is actually connected to the muscle that lifts the eyebrows in the forehead called the frontalis muscle. This procedure which is typically performed for people with congenital ptosis is called a frontalis sling. When considering cosmetic eyelid surgery to address excess skin and puffy bags, it's important to recognize the presence of ptosis so you're able to reach the full potential of having more open and brighter looking eyes.